Tonight, the DEA is warning of a new deadly drug making the rounds across the country and right here in Indiana. It's called xylazine, and it's a powerful animal tranquilizer that is starting to show up now more and more in these overdose cases. Fox 59's Max Lewis now shows us why it's so dangerous and the impact it's having. I feel sorry for YouTube. It was just three short months ago that Felissa Rubo experienced a parent's worst nightmare. He's had an addiction problem since he's been in high school. Her son Blaine was upstairs in their Kokomo home, not responding to calls from his kids. She found him on the floor, face down, cold and motionless. I don't want other moms to have to go through this. This is a terrible thing. He's 32 years old. He, he had the rest of his life to live, and he had, he had his life to live with these kids. Blaine had overdosed on a combination of several drugs, including fentanyl and one she had never heard of, xylazine. Xylazine is a medication that is utilized by veterinarians, and it is not for human consumption in any way, shape, or form. Mike Gannon with the DEA in Indianapolis says agents have found the drug in record levels, cut with heroin, cocaine, and fentanyl. He says drug traffickers are using it as a marketing tool to sell their deadly product. It acts as a central nervous system depressant, and as such, it slows your heart rate way down, and that can actually take a high and make it last longer. The scariest thing of all is because it's not an opiate, the life-saving drug Narcan does nothing. Gannon says xylazine is a death sentence. It's just very scary, very dangerous stuff. Felicita knows that all too well and hopes what happened to her son will serve as a warning to others. The next time that you try to get high could be your last time. And I don't want to see that happen. She's speaking out to hopefully save another mother from living a nightmare. I don't want anybody else to go through that. I don't want anybody else to have to feel what we're feeling. In Kokomo, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. The National Institutes of Health say repeated use of xylazine can also cause skin ulcers and abscesses. The DEA says the best way to protect yourself is to stay away from drugs because you never really know what's in them.